Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. The Cougar 302 study was a very large phase three study that occurred in 12 countries. Uh, and it initiated enrollment in 2009. And we had initial uh, outcomes data on the uh, pr progression free survival endpoint in 2012. Um, however, it took until uh, mid-2015 until we had mature survival data. Now that was, of course, very good news because the overall survival uh, is quite long. It's the longest we've ever seen in a study of men with castration-resistant prostate cancer. The median survival for men uh, with, uh, who were treated with the abiraterone arm on the abiraterone arm was 35, uh, a little bit more than 35 months, uh, and that compared uh, favorably to the median survival of 30 months of the patients who received uh, prednisone and placebo initially. Now, in order to really understand these data, you need to understand what happened in those uh, four to five years of the study conduct. Uh, number one is abiraterone itself became approved and available in most countries. And as a result, 44% of the patients who were initially enrolled in the placebo arm went on to receive abiraterone at some point in their life. Uh, and so there's a tremendous abiraterone crossover effect. There was also a significant amount of subsequent therapy with docetaxel, cabazitaxel, uh, and even enzalutamide uh, in, in both arms of the study. And so this resulted in, this, in the survival curves requiring a relatively long period of time uh, to become fully mature. The final point about the survival analysis is that when we first presented it and published it in 2012, uh, it was not a statistically significant difference in overall survival. But when one sees the evolution of the curves, uh, one sees that the, when we did that initial uh, presentation and publication, the curves were really just beginning to separate. Uh, and by the time we get to the median, uh, uh, median follow-up that we have now, we see a very, uh, I guess, significant and persistent separation of the survival curves.